Hello and welcome to the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Lebrick. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa ratified and issued Law 10 of the year 2019 regarding public cleanliness after it was endorsed by Parliament. This law becomes effective as from the day following the date of its issuance and will be published in the official Gazette. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa yesterday held a telephone call with His Majesty King Abdullah II ibn Al Hussein of Jordan and affirmed strong historic and fraternal relations binding Bahrain and Jordan, stressing keenness on expanding joint cooperation in all fields. The two leaders reviewed current developments uh, which are unfolding in the region, highlighting efforts to reach political solutions to settle regional crisis. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received at Safriya Palace His Majesty King Abdullah II's Chief Royal Counselor, His Royal Highness Prince Hashim bin Al Hussein, who is currently on a visit to Bahrain. His Royal Highness Prince Hashim conveyed the greetings and regards of the King of Jordan, His Majesty King Abdullah II, and his wishes for Bahrain and his people for further prosperity and progress. His Majesty welcomed the visiting official and conveyed his greetings to the King of Jordan, as well as His Majesty's best wishes of further prosperity and progress for Jordan and his people. His Majesty praised the deep-rooted bilateral relations in light of the keenness of both kingdoms to further developing these relations to serve the aspirations of both people. His Majesty King Hamad expressed appreciation and pride in the efforts of His Majesty the King of Jordan to strengthen the bilateral ties and his efforts in reinforcing Arab and Islamic solidarity. For his part, His Royal Highness Prince Hashim expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty King Hamad for his hospitality and expressed appreciation for His Majesty's efforts in further developing the special relationship that the two countries enjoy. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received at Safriya Palace the President of the National Audit Office, Sheikh Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, who performed the legal oath before His Majesty the King on the occasion of the issuance of a royal order appointing him in his new position. ونؤدي أعمالي بالأمانة والصدق ونحافظ على سرية هذه الأعمال his Majesty congratulated Sheikh Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa and praised his experience and competence, which qualified him to fully perform his tasks, noting his contributions in the development of the National Action March. He also wished him success in further serving the country and its citizens. His Majesty expressed appreciation to the efforts of the former President of the National Audit Office, Hassan bin Khalifa al Jalahma, and his contributions praising the efficiency of all Bahraini caters and expertise working in the National Audit Office. His Royal Highness, the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa issued Edict 9 of the year 2019 restructuring the Water Resources Council. The edict stipulated the council's restructuring under the presidency of Deputy Prime Minister Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa and the following members. The Cabinet Affairs Minister as Vice President. The Minister of Electricity and Water Affairs. The Minister of Finance and National Economy. The Minister of Works, Municipalities Affairs and Urban Planning. The Minister of Transportation and Telecommunications. The Minister of Housing. The Minister of Industry, Commerce and Tourism. The duration of their membership will be four years, which is renewable. His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa today received His Majesty King Abdullah II's Chief Royal Counselor, His Royal Highness Prince Hashim bin Al Hussein at Rafah Palace. During the meeting, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince highlighted the long standing bilateral relations between Bahrain and Jordan, which continue to advance under the leadership of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and His Majesty King Abdullah II bin Al Hussein. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince also recognized the importance 
acceptance of further deepening bilateral cooperation between both kingdoms across all levels. For his part, His Royal Highness Prince Hashem expressed appreciation and gratitude to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince on the warm hospitality, wishing the kingdom further prosperity. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince hosted an iftar banquet in honor of His Royal Highness Prince Hashem and the accompanying delegation. His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, and Director General of the Royal Family Council, Sheikh Salman bin Khalid Al Khalifa, also attended the meeting. Deputy Prime Minister Jawad bin Salim Al Arayid received Ambassador of Germany to Bahrain. Kai Tamo Bokeman. The Deputy Premier expressed appreciation of the Ambassador's efforts in boosting the bilateral ties in various fields and the interest of both friendly countries. He assured the German Ambassador of the Bahraini officials' cooperation, wishing him success in his diplomatic mission. The Ambassador thanked uh, the Deputy Premier and the Kingdom's officials for their cooperation, wishing Bahrain further progress and prosperity. The Minister of Education, Higher Education Council Chairman Majid bin Ali al Naimi headed the 45th meeting of the Council in the presence of the Minister of Works, Municipalities Affairs and Urban Planning, Isam bin Abdullah Khalaf, the Board Chairman of the Labour Fund, Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa al Khalifa, and a number of senior officials. The Council members congratulated His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa al Khalifa, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman al Khalifa, and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman. Man bin Hamad Al Khalifa on the occasion of the upcoming Eid Al Fitr. The council then reviewed the procedures for the inauguration of the Abdullah bin Khalid College for Islamic Studies, which will receive students in the next academic year. The council discussed the memorandum of the General Secretariat regarding the request of the Talal Abu Ghazala University to stop the university's activity and its plan to transfer the students to other universities. The council reviewed a memorandum on the request of a number of private higher education institutions to conclude cooperation operation agreements and memorandums of understanding. The Council also reviewed the recommendations of the Administrative and Financial Committee to examine the audited final accounts, the professional development pro profiles, the annual estimates and the annual reports of higher education institutions. The Council discussed the suspended programs in a number of higher education institutions then approved and agreed to open admissions, registration and transfer for a number of programs. The Council reviewed the annual report of the Higher Education Council and expresses thanks and appreciation to the General Secretary for this effort. Upon the directives of the Minister of Interior, General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa to inspect readiness levels of to face any threats or potential risk, the Chief of Public Security, Major General Tariq Al Hassan, paid an inspection visit to the Coast Guard to ensure its readiness and review the measures taken and plans to protect coasts and security marine safety in the waters of the Kingdom of Bahrain and deal with any emergencies. The Chief of Public Security was received by Coast Guard Commander Rear Admiral Ala Asiadi and a number Number of officers. The Chief of Public Security was briefed on the plans and alternative plans to deal with any emergency full readiness and ensure the speed of response and work accordingly to a system of cooperation and coordination to face repercussions in addition to reviewing the exercises carried out by the Coast Guard to strengthen its capabilities and reinforce its readiness and raise the level of performance of its personnel as well as to witness the level of cooperation and coordination with security services and friendly forces. Al Hassan stressed the importance of the Coast Guard's readiness and all concerned bodies to the rapid developments in the region that uh, require a caution to safeguard the security of the country and citizens and preserve public and private properties. He praised the Minister of Interior's support and development of the Coast Guard by providing the latest equipment and technological and training systems according to the latest international standards. He also hailed the vital and important role of the Coast Guard in the security system through its duties in protecting the Kingdom's border and securing its safety from terrorist acts or sabotage, smuggling and infiltration attempts, in addition to carrying out search and rescue operations and providing services to citizens and residents.